Mental illness and bullying is something that kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, when it comes to mental illness, it's okay not to like everybody. Especially with me. I, I struggle with ADHD, PTSD. I struggle with GAD and MDD. I'm diagnosed with all those. I take medication. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I'm none of that. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I'm a recovering addict. And when it comes to our mental illness, we will run into people that we don't agree with. And that's okay. And, and we're, we're left with two choices, actually, when, when it comes to that, that I found out. And this is just my personal experience, that we can take the route that we keep to ourselves and we plug forward with ourselves, or we almost wreck our own mental health and we get involved in other things and bully other people the way that we shouldn't. And I don't know, I've done it myself personally before, and I actually, I make amends and I'm sorry to anybody that I did, because it's easy to lash out, but it's hard to look in. The, the more that we look in and the more that we have to take that inventory of ourselves, it's not easy to do. And we don't, you're not taught how to take inventory. Shit, it's hard to sit there and go, man, I was in the wrong. I did wrong. I will just say this, it's the most relieving thing in the world. I have people all the time that ask me, you know, how do I handle with anger and deal with anger? And I tell them, you know, I was extremely angry when I was hurting other people and not making amends with them because, I mean, I became a bully to some people. And, Man, it's the worst feeling in the world. And at the time, you don't even think you are and you don't realize that you are because you're so engulfed into it. And it's that escape from all the bullshit that we're going through, that, that depression, that anxiety. It almost gives us like a passion in life. But unfortunately, that passion becomes very toxic and we are hurting people. We don't even realize that. And I mean, it comes down to human kindness that you're not going to like everybody you run into. That's okay. You're not going to agree with everyone's opinions and that's okay. I've ran into other creators and other people out there that, you know what, for whatever reason, I don't really like them and, and that's okay. And I have a choice. I can smile and I can support them silently and I can make that choice to not say anything or I can speak up and share and be mean. But why? Because I don't know what I say of how it's going to impact them. You know, a lot of things that we don't take into account for is our own words and our own actions. The, the words that we spew out can be extremely vile and extremely hateful. You know, we, we can expose people and we can just dig in at them. And I'm talking about in my personal life of, of people that I run into. But there's no purpose and there's no reason behind that because you know what? It, you, you, you have two choices in life. You can either make a difference or you can hurt others. And it's your, you know, to make a difference sometimes means just going, you know what? I'm going to let them do them. And I'm going to do me. And I will say this, it is so liberating when you do. The one thing that I enjoy the most is, is that when, when you're not bullying up onto other people or, or picking on them or dissecting them, it makes your life a lot easier and it gives you a lot more time to self-maintenance and self-love yourself. You know, it, I found myself, I, was, I wasn't as filled with as much hate and as much anger as I was. And this is stuff that I've experienced probably within the last year. I mean, there, there's a YouTuber that I, I went off way too much on. And yeah, I did it in the name of awareness. You know what? I even took down some of those videos because it was too much. Because that's not what human kindness is about. We don't want to see anyone hurt themselves. I'm sure there's people out there that didn't like my dad. He committed suicide. I'm sure there's people out there that didn't like my, my wife that committed suicide. And I'm also sure that those people didn't want to see them do that. Because there is a human nature about us. And the greatest gift that we have is kindness. You know, you don't, you don't have to be mean to people. You don't have to speak your mind to people. You don't have to have the last word. You want to make a difference to people, smile. Just smile at them. Even if you don't like them, smile at them. Because you never know who's going through some deep shit that needs that smile. That alone can make somebody's day, their week, their month, their year. It, with mental illness, we, we judge people. We even judge them sometimes. And I found myself guilty of this, of how is my mental illness versus theirs. And, and you don't understand all the meds I'm on versus all the meds I'm on or my addiction and, and, and judgment during even addiction. And, and I get that a lot even when it comes to my addiction of, man, there's NA meetings that I don't go to because they're like, oh, alcohol and cocaine. Well, I did, I did benzos and I did heroin. Well, sorry, Karen. I wasn't sucking dick for fucking cocaine. My bad. You know what? I have the choice to avoid that, though. And, and I do. Because it's not worth the brain damage that it gives. It's not worth adding to what we're already struggling with. You know, you want to you really form depression into somebody, go after them and attack them and blindside them. 
And you don't even have to tell people that you don't like them. All you have to do is avoid them. And that's okay. You got to remember that it's okay. It's okay not to like somebody. But you're given a choice. You can either try and drag them down and hurt them. Or just be silent and go, you know, I don't like that person. And I choose to walk away. I mean, anybody out there that I've ever hurt, I, I do apologize. I've, I've hurt people along the way. I'm, I'm very big on exposing myself on that. Because the more that I, I know that I make my amends, the more that, that that anger, that that hatred inside here, that brewing hatred, that desire to almost hurt somebody is gone. And I'll tell you this, when, when that leaves me, I, I, I don't have as much depression that seeps in some, in some of the ways that it did. My anxiety isn't that bad sometimes. I mean, it's lessened at all. It's not going to cure it by any means. I mean, I still take my Adderall every day. And if I'm struggling enough, I take my Xanax. But you know what? It, it makes me smile when I can see that I had a choice to make. I could have been vicious with my words and hurt somebody. And not even knowingly hurt them. But, but have the opportunity to possibly hurt them. Or knowing that I did absolutely everything in my power not to hurt them. Because why would we want to hurt somebody? No matter what it is. You know, we cast judgment on people. And that's human nature, I think. I think it is. And, and we are judgmental creatures. As human beings. You know, we judge addicts. We judge people by their relapse. And, and it's an unfortunate thing. I mean, that's why I think a lot of people don't speak out as much as they should about their mental illness. Or their struggles because of that fear of judgment. But if you want more people to speak out about it, don't bash anybody for what they're doing, even if you don't necessarily agree with it. I mean, unless somebody's out there running people over with their cars and shit like that, I mean, let the authorities and stuff get involved. I mean, be careful of, of what you say, though. Be careful of what you do. I mean, there's examples all the time of suicides and how they're caused. And you know what, it, the, the thing is, is when you are even bullying somebody, because I've been there, you you justify your bullying. You justify it from different things. I mean, justified my bullying from with awareness. I'm bringing awareness, yet I'm being an asshole. I'm bullying somebody. I'm being a fucking dick to them, and I'm wrecking their mental state. I'm not owning that shit, but I'm being a fucking bully. You know, I, that that's that's the reality of it, though. And we can change that. I mean, you 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 want to you want to stop self harm. You want to stop suicide. You want to make a difference in those numbers. You don't have to even be a mental health advocate. Just don't be an asshole to people online and in real life. And it's hard sometimes not to be an asshole because man, I, I with me and my ego and stuff where I have to keep it in check. I want to have that last word in. Hey, motherfucker, guess what? No, no, that's not right. I gotta look and go. You know what? Is this really right? Would I want somebody doing this to my kid? Would I want somebody doing this to my friend? No. So why am I going to be that asshole? Instead, you know what? I'll smile. I don't have to say anything. I can just smile. I'll give them a sincere smile. And I'll walk away. And I know I didn't do any damage to that person. That was unnecessary. And that's, that's a gift that we're given. It's a choice that we're given. Or we can be consumed by the anger. We can be consumed by the rage inside of us. And we can feed that beast. And that's a hard thing with mental illness. I mean, when it comes to my depression, my anxiety, even my, especially my ADHD because of hyperactivity, I'll act without even thinking. Won't even think through the consequences that my self-maintenance part is really keeping myself in check. And did I do anything to harm anyone today? Because I don't want to. I don't want to judge anybody. I don't want to throw stones at anyone. I got to take care of me. <laughs> I got to take care of this person right here. Because you know what? You're the most important person in the world. You really are. You can't help anybody or make any difference unless you're taking care of you. And it's important to. It's important to take that inventory. And not to justify our inventory. I mean, I could justify using, you know, with my addiction left and right. Oh my God, this stressed me out. I need to relapse, whatever it is. Or I take that inventory of myself and I go, no, where was I in the wrong? What could have I done differently? Could I have walked away and just taken the high road? Did I stay in my lane? Or am I feeding into all the bullshit out there? 
If I'm looking for an escape, I mean, starting shit with people isn't an escape. That, that's mean. If I need an escape, I'm going to go volunteer now my time somewhere. And that's what I've been doing. Or I dig myself more into work. Or I go try and help somebody. Because it gives me that fulfillment. And I don't, I don't have that anger. I don't have that, that, that inside me where it even affects my sleep. Judgment's a nasty thing. And, and we, I think a majority of us all have been guilty of judgment. And do we make mistakes as human beings? We do. And why fault somebody for the mistakes they make? Root them on. Urge them to learn from it. That's all you can do. Or you can be an asshole. You can judge them. You can be mean. That's okay. I mean, it, it's, it comes down to everything, but you also have the choice then to also walk away. Remember, it's all choices. And we're given that. That's, that's one of the gifts that we're given, is choices and kindness. Kindness saves lives. Hatred and anger and judgment doesn't. Pushes people over that edge. And it's hard. It's hard to look in and say, am I guilty of this? I've had to a lot of times. And if I'm honest with myself, a lot of times I say, yes, I am. Because I had the opportunity to just walk away. To urge them on for what they were doing, for the way that they were doing it. And, and to agree to not agree. And know that that's all right. That personalities will clash. We'll all have our opinions. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Sometimes we're pretty shitty too. And sometimes we're pretty shitty to other people. But if you want to make that difference, don't forget that. I heard that in a meeting once. This lady was speaking. And she goes, my goal every day is to smile at five different people I don't know. Because I don't know who's going through some deep shit. That needs that smile right now. That's been beat up by life. That doesn't need any judgment, anything from me. Just that I can give them a free gift of a smile. So don't forget that. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I mean, uh, mental illness and judgment, I think, is something that's very, very common. And it's okay. I mean, again, it's okay, and it's, it, the more that we share about it, the more that we even urge and show people that it's okay to speak up and to talk about it. I mean, I went as far as creating a nonprofit to just try and help people. I mean, bridging the gap between a crisis hotline and, and therapy called Driven Together, sharing tools, experiences, resources, whatever it takes to make it through life, because it is hard sometimes. I mean, down below, I have affiliate links to things that I use, fidget spinners and uh, fidget cubes to help me with my anxiety, even a link down there to better help. You know, if you want to try online therapy, just trial and error to find out what works for you because you are unique and special. And to find out what works for you is everything. So hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to have you along for the journey. You're a bamf. You're a badass motherfucker. You made it through 100% of your worst days to make it through to today. And that shows how fucking strong you are. We got this together.